They're now third in program history of the 132 home runs on the season. And they lead off with Dylan Cruz, the offensive outburst for this team otherworldly in the postseason. Austin Strickland makes his third consecutive start. The junior from Winchester, Ohio, started against Florida, then against West Virginia in an elimination game. Hitters don't typically pick up spin quite as well. But Cruz has 2015 eyesight. He draws the leadoff walk. Cruz faked running, and the pitch is low and in. He did not go. There's ball four. One, two. Breaking ball hit well to right field and McCarthy now ranging again the opposite way and he'll catch up to it undefeated on the year seven and no oh, it's a big arm fastball is going to take into the mid 90s he'll show you a six and a seven as well four pitch mix small ball among the nation's leaders and sacrifice bunts and hit by pitches in St. Louis whoa lost the grip on that one body for it six three two twenty and he Launches this one deep to right field, and Gray puts Kentucky on the board here in the first inning. Well, once again, most of the home runs Floyd has given up this season have been on the home, uh, been on the fastball, and that was as well. Boy, I love that swing by Jackson Gray because he saw that first breaking ball from Ty Floyd, and this one singled the opposite way. Jay Felker's got a knock, and that makes a difference with Kentucky. Yeah. When scoring first, undefeated in the postseason. Tennessee Super Regional last year. Notre Dame, a very old team. Swing and a miss by Burks, and that is a first strikeout for Ty Floyd. One down. Yep, he did it on the breaking ball. Number one, Tennessee. Number one, Wake Forest, making it to Omaha this year. The next game, they got plunked ten times. Runner on the move, and no throw from Hayden Travinsky. Solo base number 21 on the season for Felker. Nick Mingione is the head coach and third base coach. 2-2 Two -two to Petre. And that ball is lined into right field. Felker around third. They'll stop him there. And the Cats have runners at the corners with one down. Third hit of this first inning for Kentucky. They managed only four hits all of last night. Shallow center. Cruz in. And no opportunity to advance. Strong throw from Cruz. Felker third. Runner goes. The turn to second. And the Cats swipe 90. Here's the two strike pitch to Waldschmidt. Got him swinging at a 96 mile an hour fastball. Only back on May 19th, and Gavin Dugas gets hit by a pitch. Here's Jordan Thompson, and the shortstop sends a dribbler to third. They're going to try and let it roll foul, but it hits the bag. Run a little bit. High on base percentage, and he can do that. And he slaps it to left field. Dugas will be stopped at third, and that sets the stage for Dylan Cruz. Back in the count. 2-1 is rocketed to the right side and snared to second for one pitcher covering. And that's all they'll get, but what a job by Hunter Gillum to find that one. LSU is tied it on the RBI ground up by Cruz. Hunter Gillum made the all-SEC defensive team. Ground ball to the left side. Smith with the backhand off balance throw. And he got him. What a fantastic play by the veteran shortstop Grant Smith. Well, the Cats have won three consecutive elimination games in this tournament. It started with a 10-0 whitewashing of West Virginia. It just carries really good through the zone. Really nice change up there. To the College World Series in Omaha. And McCarthy with a ground ball to short. Thompson backhand from the grass. No way. What a play by Jordan Thompson. No way. Well, our shortstops so far on both sides putting on a glove show and we've seen some outstanding plays in this super so far but none better than this Jordan Thompson way out towards left field across his bottom and Kentucky loses a challenge and Grant Smith in the nine hole takes ball four payoff again with a runner on there he goes and a swing and a miss a 96 assistant coach before he got his head coach job 15 years struck deep to left field it is at the fence and off the top of it Trey Morgan slides into second base with another hit this weekend that is his fifth in two games against the Cats and he is rifling balls to the plate with a runner on second base and he sends a hot shot past Grant Smith Morgan will jog to third and LSU's got something cooking with nobody out here. 318 average with 13 home runs for Beloso. 38 driven in. 0 2. Wanted it high, and Beloso sends it high and deep to right center. Gone! Three run jack for Beloso.
LSU has its first lead of the night. Cade Beloso trying to go up. This ball never got to the elevation it was supposed to be until it landed by Cade Beloso. That's where he wanted to hit that ball, and he hit it a ton, a weaver, and I got it going again. Swing and a miss by Joe Bear. I think about some of the great players in LSU history. In that Lexington Regional. Breaking ball misses low to Thompson. Here's the payoff, runner on the move, and ball four. 3-2. Missed with the fastball. Chopped into the dirt. Chance for Kentucky to get out of it. Tough play by Felker, and he is late. And Tommy White hustles down the line to beat it out. Nowhere to put him. And he sends a ground ball to second. Petre handles it. 1-2 on the way. To third. Tommy White finds it. Already some... Tickets punched. Florida swept South Carolina. Kevin O'Sullivan back to the nation's heartland, and they'll face number seven national seed Virginia. The pitching staff that they have. Burks tags this one deep to center field. Cruz on a dead sprint into the shadows. It's gone. Second home run of the game for Kentucky, and it comes from Devin Burks, his ninth of the year. Well, that's how you answer back, and that's answering back in a large way. Ground ball up the mound, and Gillum's got a two-out single. 2-2. Two -two. Jammed him, and that one's going to be muscled into left field for a base hit from Ryan Waldschmidt. Big Blue NBA continuing to be well represented. One of both sides, Jamal Murray. Bam out of bio. It is unbelievable. And I saw Dale a few years ago. Told me that. They went through the SEC tournament. Their last 14 games, they were 7-7. Seven and seven. And they got punched a little bit. Got to visit with him a little bit. He told me kind of where he's come from and what he's been doing. Felker, too late. Got him swinging. During the first play, I had to let loose a little bit. This ball is torched deep to left field, and it is gone. Yeah. Same thing happened to you last week when you were on. Yeah, it did. Nolan McCarthy with a leadoff home run here in the fourth inning. It's a third solo home run for Kentucky today. Look, Kentucky for a team that hadn't hit many home runs this year, working the long ball today. That's the, the school I was zoned to go to. Um, it's, a, it's a public school. Let's go. Wait, hold on. All of those dudes live in the same area? You didn't? The Air Force, he's committed to it. Didn't know his career was going to blow up and do what it's done, obviously. But when baseball is over, he's told me he will make his way back to Air Force and serve in some capacity, which is really, really cool. Sky high to shallow center. Cruz will take over. Certain amount of gravitas. Swing and a miss. Thompson goes down. Oral Roberts lead. Hot shot. Snared at the hip. And a fantastic play by Emilia Petre. And this series with a trip to Omaha on the line. And off of Burks' glove on ball four. One, two to White. Reached for and snared by Petre. Shortstop in Atlanta over a summer. Swing and a miss. At least it's not rotator cuff stuff with the shoulder. It's it's elbow stuff, and guys are coming back. Mm. Stravinsky took another shot. That went off of a carom. Church sends a ground ball to third. Tommy White's got it. How's that work out for you? Not too good until mom and dad get into the room and stretch you out a little bit. Is Mason Moore? Beloso pulls it to first, snared by Gillum, and he'll take it to the bag. It's our first one-two-three inning. They have a couple today. Ground ball to Jordan Thompson at shortstop. Now you give me a week off, sure, and that might make a difference to my body, but but one day off does not make a difference. Smith sends this one to the gap. Cruz over to pick it up. Smith headed to second. The relay never comes, and it's a leadoff double. Pardon me, a one-out double for Grant Smith. And he sends a shot to left field. Pearson in the shadows. Into right field. Joe Bear hit the seventh inning. The lead pitchers have been fantastic. Riley Cooper, Mason Moore, to Wanda Dugas. Hit him again. A little bit more successful with the power last year and a swing and a miss. Burks with a fist pump. And one two from Moore. Fly ball left field. Walt Schmidt has plenty of space. Bring him to the games and stuff like I used to do. Here's Petre with a single up the middle. Not moving here, and a ground ball up the middle, and it gets through for the Cats, and they got two on with two out. 
Here's a game summary for Kentucky and three solo home runs. Gray, Burks, and McCarthy. Runners on the move from second to third. No throw from Travinsky. 3-2 to Walt Schmidt. Swing and a miss. Gedry with a big K. And there's two down now in the seventh. That is the pitch for the freshman right there, and he's got a good bender. And how about this? And the 2-2 two -two to Church with two on. Laser to left field. It is a foul ball. And they'll come back and try it again. How'd you see it? Yeah, Ruben Church can't believe it. He's standing on second base. And I'm telling you what, it from where I'm sitting, it looked fair to me. Here's the payoff. Strike three. Church caught looking on the breaking ball, and Kentucky strands two more here in the seven. Oh, wow. Well, spin them if you got them. Cruz held his swing. And he tomahawks one to left field, and that is handled with a hop by Ryan Waldschmidt. And there's ball four. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Catch made. Cruz tagging and going second to third. Golf towards right field. Rushing in is McCarthy, and he lays out to make the catch. A run scoring diving grab, run saving diving grab by McCarthy. And that will end the LSU threat in the eighth. And a swing and a miss. So I have to throw down the first to finish the strikeout. Joe Bunt, that one almost hit him. It did. Hayden Travinsky says, hey, man, he's leaning out over the plate. But Perry Costello's not going for it, and Jay Johnson's going to ask the same question. Got him in the elbow. And a hit by pitch. Gray hits it in the air to left center. Cruz underneath it. Breaking ball popped up to the left side. Tommy White into foul territory. And he handles it for out number three of the eighth. Calling Baton Rouge and soon to be calling Omaha for the 19th time against Darren Williams to lead off. And Dugas gets hit by a pitch again, third time tonight. And the home crowd happy to return the favor after the drama by the plunking of Grant Smith the inning prior. 2 2 pitch. Up the middle, hit Williams, knocked his glove off, and nobody has a play. Jobert will exit for pitch runner. How about this? Just a breaking ball and a rocket right back to Darren Williams, and somehow he gets a glove on it. My goodness, boy, I'd like to know the exit velo on that one. 102. Here's the 2 2. Swing and a miss. He gets Thompson. Huge out here in the ninth inning. And it got away from Burks and will trickle all the way to the backstop. Dugas to third. Kling follows him to second. Upstairs, missed with the fastball, and the bases are loaded for the best hitter in the game. And that one gets to the backstop. Coming home, and Cotto's late getting there. No throw. LSU gets another run across. Second wild pitch this inning. Mm. Cotto has unleashed a couple leads. That ball just almost get Dylan Cruz. I don't know how it missed him. And it's hammered to left field. This will get two home. Cruz on his horse, and he will stroll into second to extend this LSU lead. In what is likely his final home at bat, Dylan Cruz, future first-round pick, delivers. Yeah, and I'm shocked again that they decided to pitch him. I know Tommy White's got a ton of RBIs, and he's driven in. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss, and the Wildcats down to their final out. Elsewhere, Wake Forest is on its way to Omaha for the first time since 1955. Stanford and Texas will follow us. Ground ball to third. Tommy White's got it. LSU is headed back to Omaha. Perhaps the most talented team in college baseball will have a chance to play for their seventh national championship.